Good day and welcome back. Today's video is probably going to be, well, it, it could have easily been part of my safety video, except that would have made it ridiculously long. I like to try and keep my videos reasonably short, but it's all about something that, uh, oh, something you're going to hear a lot about. If you haven't already heard it, you're going to hear somebody say, horses are unpredictable animals which is what makes them dangerous. Well, at least that's what a lot of people believe. A lot. And that's why you're going to hear this so much, is because so many people believe that. Well, the fact that people think they're unpredictable, well, that's a bit of a myth. They're not really unpredictable. They're actually quite predictable. And whether it's horses or anything else, your failure to predict something does not mean that it is unpredictable. It just means you didn't predict it. And that's why I emphasize so much the importance of learning the horse, understanding the horse, and knowing what to expect from the horse, the nature of the horse, things it can do. Um, I can say, in all honesty, there was one time I did come off a horse because it did something unpredictable that I wasn't prepared for. Now, that was probably my fault as much as anyone's for not, you know, expecting it. But it was something that, it was one of those odd situations where, well, quite frankly, no matter how experienced you are, there's always a possibility that you're not going to predict what's going to happen. It happens. But by and large, though, most of the things that do happen are, in fact, predictable if you truly understand the horse. If you understand the nature of those animals and everything that is possible, I mean, you can't always predict exactly what they're, they're going to do when they react to something, but you have a pretty good idea of the fact whether or not they're going to react. They are predictable in that sense. I mean, the predictability of them is they're always going to be a horse. They're always going to behave like a horse. And uh, one of the things that, uh, you know, I, I've heard people say uh, desensitizing isn't important, doesn't need to be done. And in some circumstances, it's really not incredibly important, maybe. But it's one of those things that, well, it can help you with this whole unpredictable stuff because uh, uh, desensitizing isn't so much about teaching the horse not to fear things and to not react to them as it is about finding out what's how they're going to react what's likely to happen when they're exposed to something similar it's just as much for you as it is for the horse at least in my opinion for example if you're out riding, it starts getting kind of hot like it is today, and you want to take your jacket off. That well, it was cool when you started out, but now, gee, I'd like to take that thing off. I'm getting pretty warm. How is that horse going to react when you take your coat off? If you haven't done a lot of desensitizing to discover that stuff, you might be best off to get off the horse before you take your coat off, because when you start taking your coat off, you're not hanging on very well. You're kind of got your arms in all these strange positions as you're struggling to get your coat off and uh, well if the horse does react to this thing flapping around all of a sudden uh, you might come off the horse well that's where the predictability comes in there's a good chance that the horse might actually react to something like that and by doing desensitizing you will find out exactly what it's going to do or whether or not it even will react. Maybe it won't. Maybe it will. But, you know, by learning about horses, your particular horse, by doing some desensitizing, all of these things can all help you learn what the horse is going to do and predict the possibility of, you know, maybe you can't, like I said, maybe you can't figure out exactly what it's going to do when it reacts. But you can certainly narrow it down to whether or not it's going to react and be prepared for that and ready for it so that you don't end up hitting the dirt and getting hurt. I mean, uh, many times I've had horses that would get a little excited about something. 
And I kind of expected it to happen under the circumstances. Why? Because they predicted it. Because horses are actually quite predictable once you understand them. And it doesn't take a great deal to do that. That's why I want to encourage people to get to know their horse, get to know horses in general, figure out what does and doesn't bother them. And then you can think ahead and kind of figure out, okay, we're going to go into this situation. Uh, this object over here might bother them. Or, well, when that door slams shut behind us, that might bother them. All these things you can figure out in advance whether or not something is going to happen. They become predictable. If you understand them, they're quite predictable. The whole thing about horses being unpredictable animals, well, I don't buy it. You can always predict they are always going to be a horse. Guaranteed. You just got to figure out exactly what that is. Have a good day.